Um, by the way, uh, the jump cut uh, there was because the game crashed when I tried going back to the menu. Um, this is the opening cutscene, by the way. We get contacted by our boss man with the green glasses. He's naked. Um, and he just informs us that we, even though we're a fucked up detached loser, he can help us by getting us a job. Um, your employment status. Yeah, he's, he's getting us a job at his company. It's the sort of work that we enjoy, but we'll have to adjust to more corporate mindset. Um, he's got purple hair, too. That, you can tell he's a big boss guy because of it. Your account on my work. My work, not LinkedIn, not MySpace, my work. I assume you already own some suitable equipment. No, we don't own any equipment. I'm kidding, we own an SMG and a train gun. The conditioning app. 15 minutes a day in the conditioning app, yeah. Yeah, just so you get used to killing people and having your body augmented in horrifying, disgusting ways, you can use this conditioning app for 15 minutes. It'll help you in you know, your career path. Um, so, yeah, look at his apartment. It's got a mattress, a chair, and a TV. Like, it's really all you need in life. A mattress, a chair, and a TV. No posters, no paint, just wood, and some, and a, and a TV. Cruelty squad. Okay. Back in the menu. This time we'll go into Farmo Kinetics, which is the first level. Sig, Sigis, yeah, we already wrote, wrote that, so we got our, our weapons. I like how the statue is T-posing with these dead bodies around it. Like, um... If I owned a big corporation in a dystopian future, I'd have a T-posing statue. A T-posing blocky statue with just a solid texture on it. Because, like, the, who, what better way to show dominance over your wretched underling employees than with a T-posing statue? Let's start the mission. So, alright. Uh, let's do this shit. It's your first day, I dosed you with a special combat cocktail for you. Don't worry if you feel a little off. Well, haha, <laughs> good luck. I'm glad he added the haha -ha to add a little extra, extra light-hearted humor to the situation. Because it's actually quite uh, a dire, you know, a heavy situation. Because, you know, we're an assassin and we could die. And we're just, we're, you know, we're into, it's our first day on the job. And here we are, going up against an army of, uh, you know, detractors. And they want to kill us, but we have to kill them first. Um, so... We're gonna use that combat cocktail, and um, it's gonna help us. Small cracks permeate the surface. Well, that is, it's a fence, so, I mean, I don't know if I'd call them cracks, they're more like diamonds, rhombuses, but um, I guess we'll deal with that later. Huh. How do I eat corpses? Because I, I know that's the thing you can do in this game, to sustain yourself. You know, I actually have 100 life, so I can't actually eat anybody right now. Now, that's one thing that's uh, particularly unique about this game is, you know, your... It's an FPS where you're going up against basically an army of enemies, but you can't take a lot of tank a lot of shots. Like you have limited life, and even if you're restoring your health constantly, you cannot go just balls to the wall with this. You have to be tactical with uh, how you go about taking on the army of enemies between you and your target, which is cool. Which is cool. It's interesting that that weird dog thing can open the door. Oh, well, let me check the key bindings. Huh, okay, I guess we can't eat the corpses, because I, I read that that... I, I saw in a video that, that was a feature in this game, but eh, we probably need an upgrade or something for it. We're at 90 health, we're still good. Okay, I guess this isn't... Oh, it's just a pistol, okay. Like, it's actually just a pistol. I thought this was a tranquilizer gun. But 
Guess we have to equip that separately. We're at 85 health, we're still good. I'd like to stress, I really shouldn't be playing this before I sleep. This is gonna... I'm gonna have some crazy-ass dreams. But you know what? Sometimes you need some crazy dreams to freshen things up. I mean, if it was just a boring dream, you'd forget it immediately, wouldn't you? But no, I'm gonna remember this. Yeah, sorry about shooting at you guys. Uh, I know you're not really involved in this. I just thought you were enemies, and you know, better you than me. But, uh, yeah, have a good day. I don't even know where I can find, uh, Jerry. It won't budge. Yeah, something is missing. A key. Yeah, this is a computer monitor, isn't it? Nah, it's not like Dusk where you can fly if you diagonal jump. That's a shame. Well, not really. Hey guys, uh, this isn't a robbery or anything. I'm just uh, looking for the boss. Um, can you tell me where your boss is? You don't like your boss, do you? I don't like your boss either. I'm here to have a chat with him. Come on. Yeah, the SMG is probably a good gun to keep around, just because the ammo is plentiful, and there's another pistol, but I'm not here for the pistol. <laughs> We've made a breakthrough in combining rat and human DNA. The result isn't saying exactly what we expected, though. Well, what did you expect, and what did you get? Because if you expected a disgusting rat-human hybrid with no practical use other than disgusting people and making them question their sanity, well, then I'm sure that's what you got. I'm just wondering, what did you expect? Oh, there you are. Let's see, is there anybody else I need to kill in this level? Anybody in the bathroom? Nope. There's just a disgusting toilet. You know, this game is actually really realistic with its depiction of, uh, you know, contemporary human society and, you know, social commentary and whatnot. Uh, let's get out. Everybody I killed. We recently gave the, we recently gave the soup food in biocomputing startup GTEC a significant seed capital of around five billion dollars. We have also been helping them by supplying proprietary research data, which turns out they have been selling to our competitors for large sums of money. <coughs> Rona. On top of this, they have not produced any results and have wasted most of their funding on purchasing chunkle pops and expensive properties and an elite gated community built on ancient mass an ancient mass grave, which will soon hopefully have an addition of three fresh new bodies. Good luck. I'm actually gonna do this mission again to grab the guns I missed. Got 
the speed enhancer gland for my legs. Now I can start augmenting my body with disgusting, unholy, unnatural, and, um, unsexy augmentations. Uh, let's do this. Oh, I didn't know this was these faces here before. That seems to be a reoccurring thing in this game, this face. Whose face is it? I don't know. Maybe it's nobody's face. Maybe it's just, like, an idol of this world. Maybe it's a religious figure. Who knows? Ah! Damn. Alright, there we go. Complete the mission for the second time. This time, for good. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna cut it here. Uh, that was a good first, uh, first, uh, outing there. I don't know. Maybe I'll play this more. Maybe I won't. We'll see. Good night.